Cajon Pass was another victim of another freight disaster in February 1996. Four ATSF units, including a trio of GP60 series and a GP50, were in the hole with the hotshot freight train bound for Mesquite, Nevada. It would never get far as Barstow. Early morning at around 5.15 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, engineer Lester Foster radioed to his co-eds he was approaching the grade at 15 miles per hour and tested his brakes three times before assaulting the bottom of Cajon Pass. That's when things started to go wrong. His freight was speeding at 35 miles per hour, five miles above the speed limit. He put the train into emergency and told his co-eds that radioed him earlier, get off the train, no way to pull the power. The freight sped to 65 miles per hour before hitting cur a sharp curvature near the face of a mountain. Two of the crew members, Kevin Williams and Gilbert Ortiz, were fatally were fatally wounded from blunt force trauma from misalignment the jumps before the crash and smoke inhalation for breathing in the pesticide that started belching smoke as the tank cars burst into flames. Foster stayed on board with his locomotives, despite red phosphorus and matches from the box cars that were telescoping in within another and got out of his lead unit, but suffered critical injuries from burns and broken bones. He spent a year and a half in the ICU. Two of his units, 3853 at GP50 and 4031 at GP60, were scrapped and melted down. The other two units were rebuilt and put back into service. Again, a kinked air hose was confirmed as the cause of the disaster cutting off circulation to the train's brakes. As of 1997, end of train devices were mandatory when emergency brakes were implemented during the descent from the grade. Even though the train did have emergency brakes, they weren't turned on that morning of the crash. Without them, Engineer Foster would have likely been fatally impacted from his trauma. Jerry Bowen, CBS News, on assignment in Inglewood, California.